And ask you a personal question, Leonard. Sure, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Do you, do you punch as hard as Lewis? Maybe a little harder in spots. Uh huh. Well, you, you better introduce him, huh? Yeah, thank you very yeah, much. Fine. I thought so. Right I thought so. Everybody wants to take my job. This is the easiest job I've ever had in my life, and every time I go into a theater or somewhere where we're appearing, somebody says, let me introduce Joe Lewis. Why can't I introduce him? It's simple. All I've got to say is, ladies and gentlemen, may I present the greatest of them all, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Lewis. Joe, how you feel? I feel fine, Lennon. That's good. You know, doing five, six shows a day at that parlor theater is a little rough. How do you think you're going to like show business? When is payday? Uh, <laughs> payday's Thursday. I'll tell you then. Hey, you don't worry about money. You don't worry about money. Well, you know why I come winning in show business, don't you? Well, I imagine you went into show business simply because all the glamour, the bright lights, looking television, everything makes it nice, you know. No. What did you go in it for? Huh? What did you go in it for? I go in show business for? Yeah. For money. Joe, don't you know, haven't you heard that old adage, money ain't everything? No, haven't you heard what money ain't, the income tax people don't want? <laughs> Look, don't try to fool the people. You heard me just get through telling Ed that I knew all about you, I knew your past, I keep your records, I know who you... Can you imagine Ed asked me a few minutes ago, who was the first fighter Joe Lewis fought in New York? As if I didn't know. I know everything about you, you know that. Did you tell him? No, I didn't tell him. I'm going to wait till I go off and then go I'm going to... Tell me now. Oh, you know I know. Go ahead, tell him. Joe, you know I know the first Friday. I, I'm going to tell him when I go off. Well, tell me. Let me see. Oh, um, you mean the first time you came to New York? Yeah. The first fighter? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You fought, um, you mean when you first came here? Yeah. Hey, a fellow by the name of, um, oh, I know him. You know, I know, I know, I can't, I got it. Uh, well, this, uh, oh, you to my Primo Canary. Yeah, that's right. Sure. That's what I was going to say until you interrupted me, you know. Oh. Then he asked me, he said, then all of a sudden everybody said, look at Joe Lewis. There is the new heavyweight champion. Started fighting everybody. I told him all this. He said, all of a sudden, 1936, New York City, something happened. Bam. Down went Joe Lewis. Fought that fight, and I told you not to fight him. Remember, I went to school with him. I told him, I said, now you go to, um, what's his name? Uh, that fellow. Oh, uh, I know him, uh, you know. Um, uh, what are you talking about, Mike Smelling? I didn't think you'd remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody said, remember they were talking about you, said, Joe's through, he'll never be a champion. I knew he didn't have the heart, but they were wrong. Remember how you kept fighting. Little did they know that you were going to become the greatest champion that ever lived. And believe me, you were fighting. I went over and talked to the champion then. I knew him real good. I said, look, uh, uh, boy, um, uh, you're, uh, yeah, you're going to fight in over in, um, let's see, this town. Uh, oh, you talking about Chicago, Illinois, June the 22nd, 1937, James J. Bradard. Thank you, Joe Lewis. Thank you very much. You were right. Say, so, Leonard, what would you do without me? I'd go and work with Ray Robinson. <laughs> See that? That's what me and Ray would do together, and I wouldn't have to stand talking to you. Ray and I could dance. You and Ray could dance? Uh-huh. Oh, you don't think I can dance, huh? Oh, please. No. Huh? You can't dance. Well, I'll tell you what I do. What? I'll follow you. You follow me? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Can you stick with me? Yeah. Go. Come on, come on, wait, son. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's me? Hold it. Where you, now, where were you going then? Well, that's the way Ray and I would do. Fast, flashy, get it over with, quick. Let's hurry it up. Get it off, boy. Oh, Lana, Ray Robinson's a middleweight. So? Well, I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, you being a heavyweight, what's that got to do with it? Well, let's do it the heavyweight style. Then what's the heavyweight style? Let's do the Joe Lewis Shuffle. The Joe Lewis Shuffle? Yeah. Right. You ready? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold it. Joe, just a minute. Now, in the ring, the boys used to follow you around. Now you're in show business. This is my business. Uh -huh. Follow me. Because if you don't follow me... Come on, that's all right. <clears throat> Dance.
Aren't you tired? No, I'm still fine. You in good shape? Uh-huh. Yeah, you look like you could go two or three rounds tomorrow. You don't look bad. Oh, this is a saint. Look at him. He's so old he can't get his hands up. Why, this is nothing. I think I'll teach him a little less. I'll... Huh? Oh, you're wrong now, Joe. Huh? You're wrong. You shouldn't hit me. No. No. I'm going to stay right here till the end. <laughs> no, come on. What? Come on and get up. Do what? Come on and get up. You didn't get up when Marciana knocked you down. <laughs> okay. I got up the first time you knocked me down. I got up. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, well, you were out of your mind or you didn't know where you were. <laughs> but I got my good sense and I know exactly where I am. I think I'll sneak a punch in on this baby. You know, the world. Come in, huh? <laughs> Wonderful to have you back. Oh, I got to be back with you. You know, this is one. Well, he's one of my dearest friends, and it's always nice. He's been on our show before. I think I probably won your first one, wasn't it? You certainly were. A little bit of a box over there. That is right, down 39th Street. It's awfully nice to have you back, Joe, and good luck to you up at the Apollo, and I'll be up to see you. Thank you very much.